I can't uh, see my presentation. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you for invitation. Uh, I am a worker in Tele and Radio Research Institute in Warsaw. Uh, however, our boss um, uh, rather prefer Translate Institute of Tele and Radio Technology because uh, somebody thinks that uh, we are uh, journalists. A short outline. Uh, I will tell uh, about history of electron beam welding. The next, uh, something about comparison of traditional electron beam welding and electron beam welding in low vacuum. Uh, some words about construction of the device, uh, some application and uh, summary. About history. Uh, it was started in 19th century by Sir William Crookes, uh, who observed uh, heating of metal foil by cathode ray, uh, rays. Uh, and my, the first experiment was uh, constructing a glass tube with thin um, foil uh, by molybd uh, molybdenum foil. And um, part of cup of beer was used uh, as cathode. And uh, it was possible to uh, heating uh, this foil. And I thought maybe it's possible to use for uh, welding uh, metals. Uh, and uh, I will tell about it uh, uh, later. Uh, the next inventor, uh, Marcello von Pirani, German inventor, uh, in uh, 1907 uh, patented method of production homogeneous bodies from tantalum or other metals. Um, he used uh, glass uh, chambers uh, and um, he haven't um, very well vacuum pumps. Uh, in low vacuum, uh, he melted uh, tantalum or uh, other metals. Uh, in 1950, uh, we had the first uh, practical electron beam welder and it was used for preparing nuclear fuel. Uh, it was in uh, Germany, in Jena, uh, and um, the energy of electrons uh, was uh, 50 uh, kilo, kilo electron of volts. Uh, and in 1999, uh, we have uh, practical using a hollow cathode plasma electron gun for uh, beam gen generation at four pump gas pressure by Viktor uh, Budrovishin and Joachim Ox. Uh, they, had, um, they used um, electrons uh, of energy 8 kilo electron volts and power circa 6 kilowatts. Yes? About traditional electron beam welding, uh, about advantages. Uh, uh, due to using high vacuum, uh, we have an oxidation of material and uh, it's necessary to use uh, vacuum 10 to the power minus 4 tor or better. Typical energy is um, 6 to um, 100 or more kiloelectron volts. Um, and use, uh, if we use this technique, it's possibly, um, we have possibility welding other exotic materials. Uh, we can connect, uh, for example, copper with uh, tungsten uh, or niobium for, uh, uh, and copper. Um, and it, it isn't possible um, to connect uh, if we use uh, traditional welding. Uh, and uh, we have very good parameters of welded uh, junction. We haven't any bubbles uh, inside materials because it's um, outgas uh, we, we, because we have outgassing during uh, during welding, but uh, we have some drawbacks because uh, traditional electron beam welder is rather um, very expensive. Uh, if I remember well, it's circa half million dollars. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it, um, this device needs uh, need, um, very high power consumption because um, for pumping chamber 
we use a um, very big oil diffusion pump, uh, and uh, we need uh, a lot of water for cooling, and we have danger uh, of emission X-rays uh, during uh, welding. Uh, if energy is lower, uh, ten, uh, uh, higher than uh, 10 uh, kilo electron volts. Uh, in traditional uh, beam welder, uh, we have um, uh, electron gun with hot cathode. Um, usually, uh, for cathode, is uh, used uh, tungsten or tantalum. And uh, if in the morning we starting uh, we, we start welding. Uh, we uh, use new cathode, and after uh, day, we, we need to uh, replace this. In Poland, uh, we started in the 60s. Uh, it was started by Professor Wiesław Barwicz. He was the first uh, director of our institute. And now we have only six EB welders uh, in Poland. Uh, to compare, uh, in, uh, for example, uh, with Germany, if I uh, know well, uh, you have uh, 200 EB welders. Uh, this is a very old EB welder in our institute, early 70s. Uh, it's very, um, very old machine, but uh, it's possible uh, to use uh, for uh, other applications. In early 80s, it uh, was constructed uh, smaller, and about electron beam welding in low vacuum. Uh, it's possible to use low vacuum for welding, um, and uh, we need uh, vacuum uh, 100 times uh, worse than in traditional EB welder machines. Uh, energy of electrons uh, could be up to 10 kilo electron volts. Um, it's um, very difficult to use higher voltages because of uh, danger of spark inside machine. Um, it's possible to join the electric materials uh, by this technique. Uh, 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 device could be very cheap, and uh, we needn't uh, very uh, high power uh, for this machine. But uh, we have new drawbox because uh, it's recommended to use noble gas uh, during welding, and the best is argon. It's uh, luck because it's uh, rather cheap gas. Uh, and we have a problem with welding of, uh, if we have connect, um, if, we, if we have to uh, connect high melting point, point, uh, point materials. And it's necessary to stabilize pressure in, uh, in the working chamber because it's a very uh, important parameter uh, for this process. Uh, this is very schematic, a very simple uh, schematic dia diagram uh, of this device. We have a vacuum chamber with hollow cathode. Uh, in the first version, it was a cup of beer, part cup of beer. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, during testing, it was melted because of, uh, it was bombarded by ions. And it was melted. That's why uh, in the next version, um, versions, I used um, better, uh, better parts, better material. Uh, power supplier is uh, prepared f uh, due to maybe not better um, using a transformer from microwave oven. Uh, I used uh, old uh, rotary for vacuum pump for, um, for making vacuum inside. Piranis vacuum meter is prepared from um, uh, old light bulbs. Uh, it's very good uh, 
converter pressure to uh, electric parameter. And uh, if it's possible, it's, connect, um, it's connected uh, working gas uh, argon. But uh, in this experiment, uh, uh, I, uh, I am going to uh, show you only I, I am going to show um, working only by air. I, I, I know that I, I tell very terrible, but I am very stressed. Uh, glow discharge is necessary for emission of electrons uh, inside machine, and uh, the pressure is compromised uh, if it's too high we haven't uh, emission of electrons, we have spark inside, uh, but if uh, pressure is too low, we haven't uh, emission of electrons because emission um, is from cold cathode uh, due to bombarding by ions. Uh, the optimal pressure was 0 0.3 torr, uh, then, uh, the, uh, then power, was the highest uh, st stability power, yes, because it's possible to have uh, higher power, but it, it, um, it wasn't uh, stabili stability. Uh, and uh, it's, it, uh, this um, curve was for argon. Uh, this machine is uh, outside of this room, and uh, you can uh, see it uh, after uh, presentations. Uh, we can observe uh, what, um, what happened inside uh, due to uh, TV cameras, um, because it isn't a very good solution uh, to observe uh, uh, by eyes uh, inside uh, inside chamber, it, it isn't uh, a very good solution. In traditional Libby weld, uh, welding, uh, we have uh, electron microscope uh, picture of detail, but uh, it's very difficult to me to inter uh, to uh, understand. What, what, is, uh, uh, what happened inside. Um, our friend who uh, is a specialist uh, of EB welding uh, see uh, very well, yes, he, he has a um, picture from microsc electron microscope and uh, he can tell me, oh, it's bad, uh, do you see the problem? I don't, I don't. I can't see uh, any problem. Uh, for me, uh, it's better if I if I see detail uh, by, uh, and uh, it's color picture. Yes, when I used uh, uh, monochromatic monitor, I had a problem uh, with an interpretation. Uh, inside uh, chamber, I have a simple manipulator X theta for. Um, remove uh, my uh, sample and uh, hollow cathode is coated by quartz glass uh, for insulating, uh, electrical insulating. Uh, what happened if uh, we have the two high pressure? We have spark, we haven't uh, possibility to welding. If uh, the pressure is too low, we have dark darkness inside. Uh, we can't emission uh, of elect uh, we haven't uh, emission of electrons. And uh, if we have optimal pressure, we can observe e uh, electron beam inside. Um, maybe it's uh, not exactly. We can observe uh, gas molecules, uh, ion gas molecules. Yes. Uh, and uh, some samples. Uh, I tried connecting tapes, uh, bellows. Uh, you know, for presentation, 
uh, I uh, try to, um, to, to, uh, to show the, be the best probes, the, the best samples. Um, usually, uh, it isn't uh, such easy, and uh, I destroyed a lot of tapes, a lot of wires, uh, and uh, this machine is very good for preparing uh, thermocouples uh, if, you, if we have two wires uh, from other materials. Uh, we can uh, prepare very good thermocouples. Uh, there, um, there is a um, test of uh, welding two wires. Uh, it was uh, uh, two wires with, with this, the same material, silver copper. But uh, I, uh, I will uh, show you uh, preparing uh, thermocouples, nickel and nickel chromium. Uh, it's possible to melting um, the electric materials, uh, and uh, I, uh, I have only glass uh, in uh, Hamburg. Uh, I forgot mica uh, and alumina, but uh, I, uh, I will tell uh, about it more after this presentation. And Samari. Um, the, the best for me. I hope that after modification, uh, it could be used for 3D printing uh, technique because I dream about movable cathode and adding materials. Um, I don't know how to how to do. Maybe uh, I have. Um, very poor idea for metals. I don't. I, I haven't an idea for the electric materials. How to how to add it? But um, I think that uh, it it could be used because in traditional EB welding, it isn't possible because we have very big electron gun, and in this machine could be uh, electron gun could be um, moved by step motors. And, and I think that it's possible. Uh, maybe if I uh, will have um, biggest vacuum chamber, uh, I will uh, try. And some references. And thank you for attention. Maybe about questions, yes. because uh, my uh, poor English, sometimes I need uh, some time for um, translate. Yes. For, uh, I will help you. Maybe, af right. maybe after yes. presentations. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for this uh, excellent presentation. I'm very impressive. Thank you. So, does anyone have questions? Yes. Um, have you tried have you tried um, uh, directing the beam uh, and controlling that so that you can um, direct it with the uh, focusing coils and at the same time focus it uh, in this machine focusing is only uh, due to curvation of surface uh, cathode okay I um, I tried uh, use um, uh, external magnetic field um, but uh, it wasn't a good di uh, direction. Uh, rather by, by uh, modification of cur curvation. Other questions? No questions? Well, thank you again. On to our next presenters. They will take it. So on to our next presenters.